next I have a tutorial for you guys using the ta -da, the Morphe 35O palette. I absolutely love this palette. It's super warm, super orangey, very beautiful. I did do a review, which I will link down below if you guys want to see a review and swatches. And yeah, uh, I kind of asked you guys on Snapchat what you guys wanted to see, and I still have uh, more tutorials coming up. I will be doing one with the self-made palette as well as the tartlet uh, for you guys. So this one won the vote for you guys. So this is what is coming up first, of course. So um, yeah, so this is the look I came up with. And if you guys want to see how I did this, just keep watching. Hey there. Okay, going to start out with the Studio Makeup primer during this time I was testing this out and it's a very silicone primer it gives a very smooth base to your face next thing that I'm going to be doing after smoothing this out is I'm going to start out with some concealer and this is the NARS radiant concealer and this is a little bit too dark for me I wish I had gotten a little bit lighter shade so I'm going to take some of this Mali light lighter brightener and go ahead and put that underneath on top of that to really bring out some more brightness underneath the eye and I'm going to just go ahead and uh, blend this in with the beauty blender dampened and I feel like this really just blends out any concealer really nicely and it seems like a lot of product to put on but once you use the beauty blender I'm telling you it does an awesome job of just blending it out and not making it look as as if you have a ton of product on so Next up, I'm using the NARS Sheer Matte, which I'm trying to use up because it's not even available anymore, and a mixture of the Too Faced Born This Way, and this just kind of gives a perfect combination, and I'm using the Beauty Blender to go ahead and blend this all over my face, and I really love the combination of using the Too Faced with a more matte foundation. So just really blending, blending, and buffing that all over my face. And down my neck, of course. Next, I'm going to take my favorite powder, which is the Cody Airspun. And I'm going to apply this underneath my eye just to kind of give more brightness underneath there. Especially since I use more of a darker concealer. And just really kind of doing the baking method. And I love this powder for that. So, as you can see, I'm just going to leave that there. I don't really leave it like 5 or 10 minutes because I don't have time for that. I mean, who has time for that? And I'm going to take my Smashbox Photo Filter Powder and I'm going to apply that all over the other areas of my face just to give me extra coverage and also set the foundation that I recently applied. And I love this brush. This is the brush that I found from Walmart, the, the $20 set. I swear, these brushes are so good. I'm so glad I got them. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics Sculpt and Blend brush from their new set that I just recently reviewed, and I'm going to dust that off. And taking another brush from there, the contour one, I'm going to go ahead and contour using the Kat Von D um, contouring uh, palette. Uh, I'm, I'm shocked how many brushes I'm using from that new set in this video. It's probably because I was testing them out. So you'll see, I think you'll see quite a few of those brushes um, being demoed here as well. So I'm going ahead and doing my whole cheeks, forehead, as you can see down my, my, um, my neck and also doing my nose right now with this new brush from them as well. And I really love the way it kind of just like goes around the tip of your nose. Then I'm taking another brush from that same set to just kind of buff that out. Next, using another brush from that set, I'm going to go ahead and highlight a little bit more underneath that eye area using those two lighter shades. And I swear, these brushes are so nice. Next up is the Majorette, and I'm sorry, that's Rocky who's in here with me, is the Majorette Blush from Benefit. It's a beautiful peachy blush, and I'm just using a synthetic brush to go ahead and apply this. I love the flush of color that it gives, and I am just blending that out. So really just buffing, buffing, and buffing that out just to, so that it doesn't look as um, harsh on my cheeks. Next up I'm using Becca's Opal and using this tiny little brush from my um, crown brush set, the HD set. I swear this brush looks identical to the new Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Um, and I, I love this for highlighting and you will definitely see in a little bit when I do the little 
side highlights. <laughs> you can tell I'm listening to music while I do this. And next I'm just going to put the MAC 24-hour uh, primer all over the eyelid and just really buff that out. And I'm using one of BH Cosmetics brushes. I don't know if this is from the first set or the second. I think it's from this new set. It's the um, bigger one that I use. And just really buffing that all over the eyelid. And the star of the show, the 35O palette. And I'm going to start out with that dark orange shade. That is going to be my crease or transition shade. I really like this on the bottom just because it kind of really gives that warmth. I'm just zooming in right there just so you guys can see a, a better um, angle, you know, a very close up. So I'm applying that all over the crease, just kind of like a transition shade. And I will be warming it up with a lot more browner shades on top of that as well. Next, I'm going in with that medium brown that's underneath that. It's more of a peanut buttery kind of brown and I'm applying that on top of it just to kind of darken it and I will even put another darker one on top of that just to kind of really um, give dimension to the eye look. And the next shade that I'm using is this other kind of medium tone brown. It's a little bit more darker than the one that I just used. And I'm using my MAC 221 to go in. And this one I'm putting a little bit more precise, more on that outer edge, and just really blending it in. If you have a really small eyes or hooded eyes, you need this brush in your life, I'm telling you. So really just buffing and buffing and buffing that out like crazy. I mean, it's um, just as uh, the more you kind of just buff it out, the more you're going to see that it just blends really seamlessly and nice. So I probably should have cut out some of this because <laughs> I did some major blending here. So next I'm going to take this very beautiful copper shade. And I love this orangey copper. And this is what I'm going to apply with my MAC 239 all over the eyelid. Except for kind of like that inner tear duct that I'm going to leave because I want to put in like a pop of a lighter color in there. So I'm just... A but, um, I mean patting this all over the eyelid and I love their metallic shades in this palette. They're super pigmented and Then I'm just gonna go back in with the 221 with nothing on the brush and just Buff out those edges so that way it just blends seamlessly into each other And there you can see that light shade that I'm going in and applying in that inner tear duct and then um, I use that same brush to kind of mix them in together and then also I apply a little bit of the copper to the brush um, just to kind of get that edge where they connect together. And there I'm putting a little bit of the copper on that edge. So right there I'm just really buffing it out so you can't see where they um, connect, you know, just to kind of make it blend more seamlessly together. Next I'm taking that other coppery shade, this one's a little bit more orangey, and I'm applying this to the lower lash line. This kind of just really completed the look and made it look pop a little bit more, really loved the way it looked. So next up, what I'm going to do is do some liner on the inner waterline, and I'm using my Inglot 77, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully I will show that right now. Oh no, first I did my um, Anastasia Brow Wiz. I did my eyebrows first. Sorry about that. So I'm going to just um, connect, do my eyebrows and just kind of fill in those sparse areas. I do kind of mess up on here and you guys are going to see this. I kind of try to blend it with my finger and instead of blending it with my finger, I put some of the pigments on my skin, which was a total ugh, fail. But then I noticed it later on in the video. So <laughs> you guys will see that. Let me see. When does that happen? That happens right now. And singing, singing, singing. I'm putting that extra. 
going in and just filling it in and then use my finger damn look at that <laughs> <laughs> that was a total mess so there I have my Gerard Cosmetics Coral Craze and this is the lip gloss that I use in this video and then last I went ahead and used some more of my powder to kind of fix where I actually messed it up I also applied lashes but sadly I wasn't able to record it I actually did record it but I was so close to the mirror that it didn't show up on camera so sorry about that and here you're going to see where I fix up that, that um, well, I'm applying mascara first before applying my lashes. So just applying mascara all over the top lash line. I, I think later on I do apply some to the bottom lash line after I apply the lashes. But you will see the face I make when I notice that I actually smudged that brow product actually on my skin. So... That's when I notice it, and I'm like, what? What did I do? <laughs> so then I take the powder and go ahead and fix that. So that is all. As always, everything will be listed down below. I did have some issues with my lashes and some like excessive glue going on them, so I kind of left that little blooper in there for you guys because, of course, you know, we're human, we make mistakes. So I had just like some issues today with lashes. So yeah, I hope you guys like this. Thank you guys so much for commenting, for watching. I do try to get to back to all your comments. Thank you guys so much for everyone who is subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe down below. I love you guys. And until next time, bye guys.